Nix is a tool that takes a different approach to package management and system configuration. With Nix, it's possible for programs to build consistently across multiple devices. There are a bunch of Unix packages which have already been added as what Nix calls derivations. You can search through the more than 80,000 derivations on the Nix OS website. With the new integration of Nix into the Repl ecosystem, you can now install whichever programs or languages you'd like without having to bug the Repl team about it. Previously, all Repls pulled from a Docker image which had every single language and program installed on it. While this worked fine for a while, it became hard to maintain. By allowing you to manually select which packages you need, the environment becomes considerably lighter to work with. To get started with the Nix integration, you can start with one of the pre-configured REPLs on the documentation, or you can select the Nix option as the language of a new REPL to start from scratch. When you create a blank Nix REPL, you will notice two major files, the .replit file and a new replit.nix file. The replit file is configured so that the run button runs a command that shows a rather cute greeting. Go over to the replit.nix file and you'll see a file similar to this. You don't need to worry too much about the syntax of this file, except for the depths array, which will hold all of the derivations you want to use. In the Nix language, array entries are separated with whitespace, so you may choose to separate derivations with spaces or put each of them on a new line. The first example in which you may want to use a Nix REPL is if you want to run an older version of Python. Simply import the pkgs.python2 full package, make a Python script, reconfigure the run button to execute our Python script, and we're good to go. This will run your code in Python version 2.7, which may be useful for running old and outdated programs. Another example involves running a completely new language. I'll install the intercal language just for funsies. Import the pkjs.intercal derivation, do some quote-unquote coding in an intercal file, and compile it with the ick command that we just installed. Neat. That's all you need to know about Nix integration on Replit. Although it's in its early stages, there are so many things you can do with it, and I implore you to play around to really get a feel for what it can do. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.